Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in all things anti-aging and how to age well. And if, like me, you live in the UK, I'm sure you'll agree it has been impossible to miss the launch of Number 7's new peptide-based skincare range. It's called Future Renew. And if you live outside of the UK and haven't already heard about it, you likely will very soon. Because the scientists behind this new range, and I'm pleased to say they have agreed to be interviewed on this channel, so I hope to bring you that in the next few weeks, but they are claiming to have made a cosmetic breakthrough by developing a peptide blend that can repair the skin and reverse damage. That damage essentially being due to aging. Now, there are other skincare brands who've made similar claims and say they also have the research to back it up, but perhaps just not on the same scale as the research findings that Number 7 presented to the American Academy of Dermatology recently. But how excited should we be? And how does this range compare to some of the other more notable innovators of skincare in the peptide and growth factor arena? In other words, does it stand up to the hype? So for those who haven't heard of Number 7, it is a brand of skincare owned by the UK pharmacy chain Boots. And if you've never heard of Boots, it is massive here in the UK and equivalent to something like Walgreens in the US. And they are actually owned by the same company, the Walgreens Boots Alliance. And they've been successful in taking the Number 7 brand to a worldwide audience with earlier anti-aging ranges, including Restore and Renew, which secured a lot of media attention because of the report benefits. The new Future Renew Damage Reversal range launched in the UK on April the 12th as part of a four-piece collection comprising a day cream, night cream, serum and eye serum priced from £24.95. Now in dollar terms that's going to be around $30 and a lot less than we're used to paying for some peptide-based products that stand up to scrutiny. And the products include a combination of two peptides. And just a reminder that peptides are short chains of amino acids, often described as the building blocks of proteins because they're capable of signaling to proteins, which include collagen and fibrillin in our skin affecting their function. And number seven say their new peptide blend boosts the production of more than 50 proteins, restoring the skin to a more youthful state. Now, statements like that are not so new in skincare, but number seven have cleverly positioned this as something new, largely because this is a unique peptide formulation. And already in the UK, products have been selling out and there were something like 90,000 people on a waiting list. Now, I am a real believer in the power of peptides because I've seen the transformative effects of two brands in particular, namely One Skin and Callisum. The difference with Callisum being that the peptides are derived from stem cells sourced from red deer umbilical cord rather than plants, which is how One Skin sourced theirs. Number seven described their peptides as synthetics, so likely copied from naturally occurring molecules. But I'll be asking the team about how the peptides were sourced and created in my interview with them, and that will be coming very soon. The team behind the new range include University of Manchester scientists who evaluated thousands of possible peptide combinations, settling on a blend of two synthetic peptides, one derived from elastic fiber proteins, the other from collagen proteins. And they believe they signal to proteins to self-repair and essentially renew the skin. The research presented involved more than 37 studies on over 4,200 people, including two clinical trials and 23 user trials. But a lot of those studies were based around user scoring, so volunteers using the cream and reporting back on how their skin looked after a period of time of using it. Broken down, the key evidence presented were the clinical trials. One where the peptides were placed under a patch which was worn on the arms of eight volunteers and a biopsy after 12 days showed that their skin had increased levels of fibrillin proteins that are thought to make skin more elastic. The other was a clinical trial with 44 female volunteers aged between 30 and 75 in which they used the Future Renew formulation on one half of their face and just a simple SPF cream on the other. After the trial period, the two sides of the woman's faces were graded by experts using clinical benchmarks, including the Griffiths Wrinkle Scale. And as well, they measured changes in skin tone and texture. And they said signs of damage reversal were found in 97% of participants. 
So these aren't massive clinical trials, but we don't get a lot of those in the cosmetic industry, which means this is one of the best evidence ranges to date on the market. And I've said a few times on this channel now that I believe peptides and growth factors in skincare are the big area to watch. And I think this new launch is just further evidence of that. And I see the number seven range as being loosely comparable to something like OneSkin. Now, I interviewed one of the founders of OneSkin here, and she told me that their proprietary peptide is small enough to penetrate the skin barrier and that the formulation itself assisted with penetration. And in a clinical trial, when they applied the cream topically to a skin sample and then separated the dermal layer, they were then able to quantify an amount of peptide that had passed the barrier and made it into the dermal layer. And they believe they're one of the very few brands that guarantee the active peptide is being delivered because most peptides are probably too large to pass the skin barrier. Now number seven joins them as having proven delivery to the dermal layer, but the difference is the One Skin Moisturizer sells for $120 for 50 milliliters, though there is a subscriber discount. But that compares with the number seven moisturizer, which sells for just 35 pounds, which is around $40 for the same amount of product. But there will be differences between them that affect the price. Differences, for instance, in the peptide concentrations, for example, and the supporting formulation. Smaller startup skincare companies have high upfront costs to absorb as well in terms of scientific testing, research and development, marketing, and that's why you find that they're often at the pricier end. What's exciting about this number seven range is that it brings the technology to the lower end of the price spectrum, making it affordable for many more consumers. The number seven Future Renew Serum seems to be the hero product in the range with the concentration of peptides along with ingredients like niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Now I have used it and it glides on, but it doesn't seem to then disappear into the skin. And that's likely because dimethicone is the second most abundant ingredient in the formulation after water. And it's a silicon based ingredient, which helps seal in moisture, but sits on the top of the skin. And I think that's probably where you start to experience the price differential. My 80 year old mum has been using One Skin's face moisturizer, which isn't yet available outside of the US and Canada. So we were sent a sample for her to try, but she's been using it for almost five months now and absolutely loves it. And that gives me a headache because I'm not currently able to order her more being based in the UK. But she says it's changed the texture of her skin and aged 80, she no longer has to wear face powder for the first time in her life because her skin is so well balanced. And just take a look at these before and after pictures. My mom has told me that she felt the skin around her eyes and wrinkling around her nose in particular was now smoother. And I would say these pictures absolutely support that. She also loves that the moisturizer is non-irritating, silky soft and quickly absorbed into the skin. So I will do a dedicated video on our One Skin results because I'm also trying out their new eye cream. But I wanted to share these pictures as yet further proof of the power of peptides. We just need to remember that not all peptides are equal. There will be some peptide-based formulations out there that are nowhere near as effective as these ranges and that likely won't be penetrating the skin barrier. With One Skin, you're paying more for what is a higher spec formulation from a startup skincare company that doesn't have a massive marketing budget. And with number seven, we appear to have an effective peptide-based range, which is more budget-friendly because the Walgreens Boots Alliance behind it has huge marketing power and therefore the consumer is benefiting from the economies of scale with so many products being sold. I've also witnessed the power of peptides through Calisim, the skincare brand that derives the peptides from stem cells found in the lining of discarded red deer umbilical cord, which contain an abundance of natural peptides. And you can watch my interview with Ollie Tobin of Calisim here if you want to find out more detail about the products. But essentially, the natural peptides in the calisum range are also signaling to the proteins in our skin to behave more youthfully. And I've witnessed significant results, both for my husband and my 79 year old dad, who both use the hair serum, 
they're paying customers for it. My dad's results in particular, which you can see here, are quite significant and first became obvious in just six weeks because with the hair serum, you're also assisting the penetration of it by derma stamping your scalp before applying. And my friend Charmaine, who used Calisum's face cream for three months, saw visible improvement in her skin pigmentation too. So I have seen close up just what peptides and growth factors in skin and hair care can do. And I believe scientists are only just scratching the surface in this area and we can expect many more advances to come. I'll link to all the ranges discussed today in the video description below. I don't have a discount code for number seven, although at the time of filming, they are currently offering a money off code on their website. I do have discount codes for OneSkin and for Callison products. So just click show more in the text beneath this video to take a look. And I hope you found this information helpful. If you've tried the new number seven range, let us know what you think so far. Or if you found another effective peptide based skincare solution, do share it with us in the comments. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.